Thanks for staying with Daybreak. We're just getting into the second hour of it. Before we get into the Bulls and Bears segment, let's bring you up to speed with what, with what is happening at the JKIA, where the aviation workers, they have down their tools. There's a go slow. There's several passengers who do, I believe are stranded hundreds there. Hundreds of yeah, passengers. Yeah, hundreds of them. Exactly. The flights are not coming in since last night and this morning as well. The aviation workers are just seated around the parking lot. And Faisal Ahmed has been following up all the details for us all morning and last evening as well. Faisal, what's the situation looking like right now uh, thank you very much uh, Trevor and Wahiga uh, the situation is pretty much the same as we updated a few um, hours ago and uh, on the hourly um, basis that we've been doing but um, just to give you a few updates uh, we have been informed that the fire engines on the air side have been withdrawn this meaning that no plane can take off or land at JKIA and uh, also there was a Rwanda air um, a Rwanda airplane that was supposed to take passengers to Kigali for the AMREF uh, Africa Health Week uh, that also left empty so that um, shows you that uh, a huge number of people have already uh, uh, their fly, um, travel plans have already been disrupted and now I'm maybe joined by uh, a traveler uh, maybe if you could just tell us how has this inconvenienced you um, I, st I wake up this morning, 2 o'clock, to fly from Mombasa to connect my flight from Nairobi to London. And I don't know what is going to happen up to now. Sorry, I can't say anything else. That's all. Everyone will have to wait. Okay, so what uh, contingencies or maybe what plans have you put in place to... Have you informed the people who you are going to visit or why are you going for a meeting? Yes, I did, but I can't do nothing. I'm nowhere. I'm, not, I'm standing here and like other people. So I don't know what's going to happen next minute. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Um, Wahiga, the, uh, that was uh, one of the passengers. We did uh, try and uh, look through the window to the counter that uh, issues uh, boarding passes. And the whole area, the security screening area, the boarding pass issu issuance area, the waiting area before departure, all those areas are completely empty. And the offices manning those particular areas are seated on the other side of this parking lot protesting for better pays and also for the um, um, austere of uh, the management of both KQ and KAA. Now I'm joined also by the CEO of Crown Paint. Uh, thank you very much. Maybe if you could just join me here. Uh, how has this uh, strike affected your travel plans? You know, I have a very important business meeting in Monza and a lot of people have also traveled across so we have certain tasks to finish. Now it's going to be very inconvenient to us because I don't know when it's going to be open. So we have to take a lot of decisions. We take a decision on daily basis to run our business. So definitely it's going to affect uh, our operations, you know, our decision making. Uh, I've actually seen you on a very long call before you joined us on set. Were you apologizing to the people who you're going to? Yes, that's what I'm trying to call people that I'll not be able to make it. So make sure that they can, if they can schedule their travel plan or because I don't know when I'm going to go there and going to meet them till this has not been resolved. So it's a really, really uh, difficult situation for us. And many business executives, they're all suffering. I mean, all international, I have a few guests from um, all over the world. They're all suffering. They are standing on airports. It's not good for us. Yeah, thank you. Um, Wahiga Trevor Zinzi, that's the situation here at JKIA. We'll keep you updated on the hourly basis as it continues to develop. Quick one for you. Any word from Kenya Airports Authority, Kenya Airways this morning? And also, do we know what's happening to the planes that are being diverted from JKIA? Where are they being sent to work and those, where are they going to land? Um, on your last question, we have tried reaching out to KCAA, but um, to no avail. Maybe we'll try reaching out to them later on in the day. But we understand that no plane has landed uh, since we got here because uh, we got here at around 2.30 a.m. in the morning and uh, nothing has happened as yet. But um, flights like uh, the Rwanda Air airline that I've told you um, dropped passengers and was expected to pick passengers to take them to Kigali but has actually gone back empty because it would have been very expensive for them to um, taxi at JKIA with no passengers to pick. And um, uh, on the other question that you've asked, Wahega, we tried reaching out to KAA and the only response we got from them is that they did issue uh, the court uh, 
order suspending the strike to Kenya Aviation Workers Union but they according to KAA they did defy the court order and uh, then that uh, becomes another case altogether so they're following up on that and uh, they have been a bit harsh on uh, what they're doing uh, to try and control this we saw an, uh, a senior manager from Kenya Airways trying to uh, console some of the passengers here but the reaction was not good some of the passengers were almost um, verbally abusing uh, the uh, representative from Kenya Airways due to anger we have uh, uh, women and small children uh, still sitting here or rather were sitting here from 2 30 a.m. when we got here so the situation has been a bit ish ish since morning up until now thanks Faisal that's Faisal Ahmed speaking to us live from JKA where thousands of passengers are still stranded the strike is supposed to spread all the way to Mombasa and Kisumu as well we'll keep you updated as the situation unfolds in real time there but now let's get straight into the bulls and bears discussion